A very interesting poll came out today in regards to Trump opponent turned Trump lackey, Senator Lindsey Graham. In his Senate race in South Carolina, he's facing a tough challenge from Democrat Jamie Harrison. Lindsey, almost, I think it's almost three years now that he has done a town hall in the state, but he's on Fox News every other night. Mm -hmm. uh, it shows the people here in the state what, what is really important to him. It is important for him to fly on the Air Force One. It's important for him to go to Mar-a-Lago and hang out with the president. That's what, what he believes make him relevant. But for me, what makes me relevant is to work for the people of South Carolina, to wake up and go to sleep every day and every night, figuring out how can I make sure that those 41 communities in our state that have lead levels higher than the federal standards, how do we fix that? How do we fix these communities where we've had four hospitals well, and me... rural communities to close? Now, just FYI, Jamie Harrison does not seem to be, and I don't think is, any barn-burning progressive. He made his way in politics by climbing the ranks within the Democratic Party establishment. For example, Tom Perez uh, most recently appointed him to associate chairman and counselor of the DNC. But unseating Lindsey Graham, who is a small, pathetic man and arguably the biggest warmonger in Congress and just a vicious human being, that would be huge. And these poll numbers suggest that there is at least a glimmer of hope. The poll of 591 registered voters was conducted online from May 23rd to 26th and finds Republican Senator Lindsey Graham with a 35% to 56% approval disapproval rating. Graham is tied with Democrat Jamie Harrison, 42% to 42% tied in the U.S. Senate race, and Donald Trump leads Joe Biden, 52% to 42% in the presidential contest. Senator Graham is the least popular Republican politician in South Carolina. Statewide, Graham, 35% favorable. Trails Governor Henry McMaster, 42%. Senator Tim Scott, 48%. Nikki Haley, 56%. And Trump, 51%. Graham is also viewed the least favorably within his own party. Among Republican voters, Graham's favorability, 66%, is lower than that of McMaster, 68%. Scott, 83%. Haley, 86%. And Trump, 89%. 89% of favorability for Trump goes to show that the Trump-hating Republican is largely a myth, and the fact that Lindsey Graham is so disliked within his own party has way, way, way more to do with the fact that he tried to straddle two elements of the party, the, the Trumpy part and the establishment part, and he got lost in the shuffle. So there is an opening. I'm not going to say he's going to be unseated, but this is potentially good news to get one of the worst senators out and then potentially have a Democratic majority if Joe Biden's poll numbers hold on, which, you know, it's Joe Biden and he flubs every single day. So that's definitely not a given.